So these guys are Mexican kissing bugs. And basically what you got here is a living needle. We can introduce these onto the back of the taper. Out will come their probe. There's a slight anesthetic when they pierce the skin with a probe and they fill up with blood. Okay, there's two out, three. Let's see how we get on with four first. So you'll see the abdomen, it's really flat, it's pancake flat at the moment, way for thin. They, they're able to detect where the, where the blood capillaries are under the skin. Amazing, isn't it? And it's so stress-free. You can get a half a mil to a mil per bug. And generally, for most blood samples, all you need is two mils of blood. So hopefully we'll get enough to, from, from these four guys. But they're all in a good position. We can track them all and they're feeding. Already you can see this guy here and this guy here. You can see their abdomen starting to swell. So the abdomen is starting to shape up nicely, but this is a good sign that they're feeding well. So we've got four bugs, full, full abdomen, so this is uh, looking good. So what we do is we take them around the surgery and then we'll, uh, we'll extract the blood from their abdomen. Okay, just to prove it's not a trick, I've kept two blood um, bu bugs for myself. So there you got the two blood bugs starting to feed. Look at the abdomen now, how flat the abdomen is, and it's, it's exactly three o'clock, so let's see how long it takes them to, uh, to fill up. There you go, it's just been about eight minutes and uh, the two bugs are rightly stuffed. Be interesting, you know, it just shows you how quickly they fill and you really don't feel a thing. So uh, it's quite an ingenious way of getting blood from, uh, from animals without uh, any stress. <laughs>